The second voltaic cell problem is the chromium rubidium cell. And we can begin with by building the cell and then assigning where the direction of electron flow and everything else is. So one of the cell halves has to have a piece of rubidium and one has a piece of chromium. And I would have the ions of those metals in the same chamber. I would have to have my potassium and my nitrate in the salt bridge. And there would also be some nitrate inside the solution. So now I have everything all set up. And now the only question is, what direction is everything going to move? By examining down here the various, oops, where's my, by examining down here the two different reactions, we see that I've got chromium reduction, negative 0.74, rubidium reduction, negative 2.98. Chromium is on top. It's more positive. That's going to be the reduction half. The reduction half is the cathode. So if the reduction half is the cathode, that makes the oxidation half, the rubidium, the anode. And electrons always flow from anode to cathode. So I can put in some arrows indicating the direction that the electrons are going to move. And I can also say that the positive ion in the salt bridge always heads towards the cathode, and the negative ion in the salt bridge always heads towards the anode. In the cathode, the piece of metal, the chromium, is going to become heavier. Because as the electrons arrive, that's going to cause a momentary negative charge in this piece of chromium metal, and it will attract the chromium ions. The potassium in the salt bridge is flowing towards the cathode because it's trying to replace the positive charge that is disappearing. And this means that in the anode, the opposite is happening. This piece of rubidium metal is falling apart, electrons traveling through the wires to the other side, and rubidium ions ending up in the solution. I don't have any need for these arrows because that's just in case I had put the chromium on the right side and the rubidium on the left side. But I do need to indicate what's going on in each reaction. So the cathode of, happens exactly as written on the reduction potential table. So I can just say that in this half reaction, this is what's going on. Chromium plus three electrons turning into solid chromium. The anode, it's the reverse of the reduction reaction. It's the oxidation. So on this side, rubidium is turning into rubidium ions plus electrons. To combine these two, I take their basic reactions, the reduction and the oxidation. And the problem that I have is right here that there's only one electron, which means I can't just combine these together because this one has three electrons. So they wouldn't cancel out. So I need to multiply the rubidium by three. So there's three of everything, including three electrons. Now the electrons are going to cancel. And if the electrons cancel, I can combine the two together into the overall reaction for this half cell. One chromium ion, three rubidium uh, atoms, makes one chromium atom and three rubidium ions.